Welcome back to another episode of The Force Report, everybody. My name is Ross. This is the channel where we talk all Star Wars gaming news and updates. Um, today, we're going to be reading through a Reddit post I saw over the weekend, so please take this with a grain of salt. But we're just going to be looking some through some new leaks, rumors, whatever you want to call them. They say they have a source that they cannot put out because of you know, identity purposes. But I just want to read through them. Obviously, like I said, take them with a grain of salt. But we're just going to read through them and then see... If any of them sound true or, you know, if it just sounds kind of fake, whatever, just share our opinions on them. But I did want to at least share them with you because I did see the post was, I think, recently deleted. And I see a lot of people doing that because I think the community is a little bit hasty about leaks and rumors and speculating with Battlefront 3, which is, you know, I don't understand. You know, I like speculating. It's fun. Get you excited for things that could possibly be true. So... Um, I feel bad when people feel like they have to take their posts down, if they're, even if it's just sharing thoughts. But they said they have a source, so we'll see. But let's read through this Reddit post, and then we'll come back, and then we'll just, you know, see if there's any truth to it, and if there's anything, you know, we see that's kind of fake. Also, a reminder, if you guys do enjoy the content, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss an upload. And if you guys are a new subscriber, make sure to just comment that down below and just say, I subscribed. It helps me welcome you guys to the channel properly. This post came from the Gaming Leaks and Rumors Reddit, um, and it was posted away by... It was posted by Throwaway Leak Battlefront 3. I saw this on Saturday night. Starts off by saying the title is Star Wars Battlefront 3 EA Dice Information I Can Share No Source. Hello, I have some information I can share regarding the Battlefront game by Dice EA. I know there is a lot of writing but not as much information. This is because I want to be as detailed as possible. I wanted to start this off with some side notes and disclaimers. This is not my main Reddit account, obviously. This account was made only to make this post and any future information regarding Star Wars games I may be told later. I am not an employee of EA Dice, Respawn, Lucasfilm. I am not a game developer. I am a fan of Battlefront 2 and I am familiar with the history of Battlefront 2015. Do not believe everything I say. I have no proof or content to share and I'm not allowed to share my sources. I feel strongly about false information on the internet and I feel guilty sharing leaks without a source, but I believe this will have an overall positive effect for the community. I only ask that you listen to me and when time passes, it may be clear that the points is reliable information. I'm not associated with any leakers that I know of. I am not familiar with this subreddit. I was only told this is the correct place to post. This post will have a lot of words and information. I will be as specific and detailed as I possibly can as a fan of the Battlefront series. I know that the fans have been waiting a long time for news. English is not my first language, so please excuse any improper spelling or grammar. Star Wars Battlefront 3 is a very is very early in development, so so early that some would say it isn't even being developed yet. All the information I have to share have probably somewhere in the sentence, but I think you will understand that none of this information is set in stone. Because it is early in development, none of this is confirmed and nobody knows what will really make into the final game. Everything is subject to change. I don't know much about Jedi Fallen Order 2, but yes, it is a project that has been in development for a while. Lucasfilm Games is involved. The next Battlefield game is a priority for EA and DICE at the moment. The pandemic has slowed down development for most game studios, but continue to get work done. Uh, my source is reliable. So this person has a source, apparently. My source is reliable, and I have been shown proof. As much as I would like to, I can share any of it, but I can't share sh screenshots. Almost all of the plans and ideas are based on the features and success of both Battlefront 2 from 2017 and Battlefront from 2015. DICE has a lot of smart people who understand what the fans want, but there are other needs from EA and Disney. As I've said, Battlefront 3 isn't close to e being complete, however there have been discussions about the creative direction and the content that might possibly be featured. I have taken notes about why my source has told me, and I'm personally I am 100% confident in the information. As a reader, you should not believe anyone that doesn't have a source. I apologize for not having any way to legitimize what I am saying. I only ask that you listen as a Star Wars and Battlefront fan. This news is not overly exciting, but there's definitely a future for Battlefront. Disclaimer again, guys, I will say, you know, like I said, take this all with a grain of salt. They gave us a big disclaimer we just read through, but, um, you know, it's just still something to read through. New post. Um, but let's get into it. The announcement of Battlefront 3 doesn't have a planned date announcement. May not even come out in 2021. Everything regarding Battlefront 3 depends on the development of the next Battlefield game. One of the higher-ups created a sample of what 
a reveal trailer would look like. It isn't anything crazy. It shows the Star Wars Battlefront 3 logo, which just looks like the previous ones from EA, appearing on a black screen with music from The Empire Strikes Back, scenes with Yoda playing. When the reveal trailer comes out, I assume it will be made by someone with experience with media production. There will not be a campaign or any short stories like Battlefield has. This decision was made because of the mostly negative reception from the previous game despite all those resources spent developing it. In addition to that, Lucasfilm Games suggests that Star Wars stories should be left to other projects, specifically the game made by Respawn. Battlefront 2 was made free on Epic Games for multiple reasons. Only one reason was to see how much interest there was in Battlefront and how many people would stay. DICE can see very specific stats on the activity of all players. Needless to say, EA knows there's a lot of interest for Star Wars games. DICE wants Battlefront 3 to be bigger than Battlefront 2 was on launch, so expect a release date far in the future. I just want to make a prediction. I would guess that late 2024 is most likely release time, but that is just my guess, so no release date is planned. Gordy Hab will most likely be composing for this game, but nothing has been made official yet. DICE has been given more freedom in what is added to the game, but must be approved by Lucasfilm, of course. This game will have content from the nine films and anything in between, any canon material between The Phantom Menace and The Rise of Skywalker is fair game, so that includes Mandalorian, Rebels, Clone Wars, Solo, etc. As of now, no High Republic era content is planned, but that could change. Due to the undeniable fan support in Battlefront 2, the prequel era will be getting fair treatment. This game will be similar to the previous Battlefront games, but will not have any unique elements to distinguish itself. Heroes, ships, vehicles, and classes will be back, however there is a system different from battle points. When it comes to heroes, every faction will have at least a trio, Maul, Dooku, Grievous for Separatists, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Padme for Republic, Luke, Leia, Han for Rebels, Darth Vader, Palpatine, Boba Fett for Empire, Rey, Poe, Finn for Resistance, Kylo Ren, Phasma, Hux for, for First Order. I think this is the eight, the minimum amount of heroes. There are going to be six different classes that we discussed. Heavy Trooper, or Heavy Trooper, equivalent to battle, Assault and Battlefront 2, Officer, Sniper, Spy, Engineer. There was a debate about adding a Starfighter mode. It's about 50-50 on being added. Mo there will be emotes, avatars, skins, etc. that are unlocked via a currency that can only be bought using real money. There may not be any at launch. EA is very cautious with microtransactions for good reason. The only paid for items will be appearances based on what have no pay to win aspects. I was sh This person said, I was shown two concept art pieces. One showed a white stormtrooper on a desert planet. I couldn't tell what one. The second showed a lightsaber fight between someone with a red lightsaber and someone with a blue lightsaber. However, I couldn't tell who they were. It was on some structure in a city and they were being, or in a, Placed by buildings, Naboo or Bespin or Coruscant, I couldn't tell. That leaks a little bit bland right there, you know, a stormtrooper in a desert or two, a, a blue and a red lightsaber fighting, of course, you know, like the, you just described Star Wars in a nutshell, but we'll move on. Um, there will be a big emphasis on post launch content with all the planned shows coming in the future. Games will mostly be one faction versus another, just like previous games. DICE wants to include battles between two factions that aren't part of the main six that we play as in Battlefront 2. Mandalorians were the only example brought up. No Battle Royale mode. Yes, this was mentioned. And then they said one more time, I will say not to believe everything I say. You have no reason to believe me, but I hope in the future I am able to provide more reliable information. I have another call with my source. I know it sounds silly to say next week they might be able to share more info. Alright guys, so there you have it. That was the big post that was taken down recently um, with all those leaks and rumors for Star Wars Battlefront 3. Like they said, they're not, you know, don't, they take, said take them with a grain of salt. Don't, they don't have to believe everything they say, um, but they did share some light on the information. Um, now, you know, I want you guys to go ahead, uh, if you guys want to see the actual post, comment that down below because I have the screenshots because like I said, it, I think it has been... Um, remove, but you know we can work something out. Maybe we could post them in a Discord or something. But most part, it sounded very generic, kind of like the same leaks we've gotten from January. Um, 
they just put a little bit more time into their posts. But like I said, take it with a grain of salt. It's still fun to speculate, read what they had to say. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Uh, consider subscribing if you guys are new. And turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss an upload. I hope you guys did enjoy that uh, post. Hopefully, like I said, we can share it on Discord if you guys want to actually read it. And then I will see you guys in the next video. As always, my name is Ross, and this was an episode of The Force Report. Thank you.